Hi, my name is Jay Higgs. I'm the Vice President of uh, Crane Aerospace and Electronics here in O'Leary, Ohio. I'm going to take my mask off uh, for the purpose of this interview, but again, you know, we're an essential business. We make uh, aircraft manufactured parts that support our military and all our commercial industries as well. And uh, as an essential business, uh, we're here working during the uh, you know, COVID-19 pandemic, but always wearing our mask. So I'm just taking it off for the purpose of this interview, but uh, just all of you watching this video, please make sure you're you're wearing this and keeping everyone safe so we can uh, we can do what we need to do to serve our country. So thank you for that. Uh, we're going to start the interview here with some questions. Uh, Mary Keener, who is an administrative assistant uh, for our facility, is in the background here. and She'll be asking me some questions. I'll go ahead and answer those. All right. Um, Jay, what was your path to your current position? Well, I'm an engineer by trade. So I went to school for uh, six years total for engineering, uh, two, four years as an undergraduate, two years as in, in graduate school. Uh, you know, that's kind of how I got started in design engineering and then I worked my way up through various roles in, in the business, uh, primarily designing product and running the design engineering team and then uh, some program management and then in business development. And I kind of put all that together and started understanding the operational side of the business, actually making the product. And then once I had all that experience, I started running this business as well as two other businesses we have in Crane Aerospace and Electronics. So I have one at the Burbank, California site and one in, in Linwood, Washington. Great. Um, what, are, what are the most important skills needed for this job? Well, in my current position, uh, you know, it's, it's very diverse. So you got to have really good communication skills. You're talking with customers, you're talking with associates, you're talking with corporate every single day on what you're doing with running the business. You have to be very, very organized. Uh, there's a lot going on and you got to make sure that it's all getting covered uh, when it needs to be covered. And then just problem solving skills. Uh, what's unique about my job is I rarely ever know exactly what I'm going to get into. Uh, when I come in in the morning, but uh, you know, having real strong problem solving skills helps me tackle anything that gets thrown at me on a daily basis. And then, what is the organizational culture like here at Crane Aerospace and Electronics? Yeah, Crane has a very unique culture, uh, one that's rooted in very sound uh, you know, ethics and responsibility to running the business in a very uh, truthful and honest way. At our core is continuous improvement. We have something called the Crane Business System, and every element within that Crane Business System is all about improving the business every single day. So we have lots of tools and processes we use in a very regimented way to making sure we're, we're improving on the business every single day. And that, a lot of that has to do with our problem solving skills uh, and just the way we run the business every day to improve. Thank you, and then you had mentioned about the important skills that are needed for your job. Are those the same skills and talents that our company looks for in new employees? Well, yeah, in terms of new employees, obviously you don't have a lot of experience when you first join the organization. So uh, what we look for is communication skills, again, are always key. We like people that can communicate, both written and verbal. Uh, kind of starts there. Uh, strong problem-solving skills, and typically strong problem-solving skills really starts with you know, good, solid education, one that's primarily technical because in those technical fields, you are gonna be uh, challenged to solve, solve issues and work through things. So those are probably two very prominent skills and new employees that we look for. Um, and then what do you like most about your job here at Crane Aerospace and Electronics? Well, wow, I, I, mean, I like my job a lot. I've been in this job uh, quite some period of time. Uh, first of all, I love the industry aerospace. It's very exciting. Uh, it's allowed me to do things I never would have imagined when I was just coming out of high school. Uh, you know, the diversity of job is exceptional. The fact that I have a site here in O'Leary that I run, but sites in other parts of the country, uh, it's, it's nice to get out and visit those areas. We have a lot of international customers, so it's afforded me an opportunity to travel internationally and, and meet with all kinds of different cultures and uh, do business with all kinds of different cultures. So that's, that's always been exciting. And then just the people that work here at this site are a pleasure to work with every single day. It's a very uh, highly skilled, highly motivated team. We do really technical things, really important things for our industry. And it's just fun to come to work every day and work with people who are so, uh, so intelligent and so motivated to do great things for our customers. So that's kind of what keeps me going. Um, and just as an example, who are some of the customers that you service? Yeah, so we do, uh, we're all the big ones. So Boeing and Airbus as airframe customers are two of our bigger customers. And then we do a lot of work with engine manufacturers. So this is General Electric, Rolls-Royce, Pratt & Whitney. 
as well as military customers like uh, Lockheed Martin, Northrop Grumman. So pretty much anyone who's a, a tier one or tier two in our industry is someone that's a customer of ours. And I remember uh, several years ago we joined in um, in an integrated business um, with our within our group of Crane Aerospace. Um, and how does that benefit uh, our customers? Yeah, so we were yeah we were a bunch of I guess smaller businesses that were put together under Crane Co as acquisitions throughout the years. And maybe about a decade ago we created something called Crane Aerospace and Electronics, and it was bringing those seven different businesses together under a common operating umbrella. Uh, and then leverage off of each other. I think it was important mostly for our customers because we had various different companies selling products into the same customers, so we were able to consolidate that so they had a single voice at that point. And then we're also, to share, we're also able to share our technology development. So we have certain parts of our business that are very strong, and maybe in electronics or manufacturing engineering or mechanical engineering. We're able to share those capabilities across all the businesses now. Thank you for explaining that. Um, I know that uh, Crane Aerospace has a co-op program. Um, is that something that might, you might know a little bit of information about and could share with uh, this group? Yeah, so one of the real strong points of our business is we like to both promote from within and develop our own talent. And we have a very strong cooperative education program with several state universities where we actually bring uh, engineering students in to work for several semesters. Uh, gives us a chance to uh, learn what they're all about, get them exposure to our business, and you know, a lot of times there's a good fit at the end of their college career and therefore we hire them. And I would say probably 40 to 50 percent of the engineers who work at that site, this site right now, were former co-op students. I see. And what are some of the colleges that they come from? If it just yeah, University example. of Cincinnati, University of Toledo, uh, University of Akron are the primary uh, universities that we work with. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, great. Thank you very much. Is there anything else you'd like to add that I haven't asked a question about? I just, again, uh, for all you uh, STEM students out there, I'm in a business that's very technical. Uh, it's very engineering oriented. Uh, I, we, need, we need engineers. I mean, uh, pandemic aside, uh, business has been very good. Aerospace will continue to grow. Aerospace is changing. It's going to be a lot more uh, development of hybrid electric aircraft, uh, hydrogen powered aircraft. There's a lot of exciting things going on in this industry. I advise you go, you take a look at it. And if you're an engineering STEM student, uh, it's it's a great field to get into. And uh, you know we certainly need engineers in this in this type of business. And I would encourage that. Great. Well, thank you again for your time, Jay. All right. Thank you. Bye bye.